Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel technology and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can host a website from your computer and access it from anywhere in the world so you just need to follow me and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates so without wasting your time let's start the video. As you can see right now XAMPP server is running on my computer here is the XAMPP control panel so I will show you how to download and install this so you have to go to this website uh, apachefriends.org so I will give you this link to my video description and after that you have to download any version from here for Windows you can also download it for Linux or if you have a Mac OS then you can download it from there also so as you can see all the version is there so uh, better to download latest version is 7.1.11 which is 120 MB so as you can see I'm already downloaded it again um, the, uh, I'm already downloaded it and install it my computer so after open XAMPP server on your computer you have to click on this start uh, uh, to this Apache server first and second you need to uh, uh, um, start MySQL server from here okay and after that you have to go to your my computer and under C drive you will get one folder is called XAM server so you need to go under XAM and then htdocs so delete all the files and folders from here so if it is not working then click on stop here from here and after that delete all the files and folders from here so all the file has been deleted as you can see so now I'm going to create one index file my own website file so I'm go I'm not making the whole website I'm just uh, show you the demo index uh, index so we'll just open it and type some codes here like HTML code HTML slash HTML then title uh, technology the website name title then uh, under head folder it will be happen head and then body here I need to put body bg equals to color bg color equals to equals to black black and uh, and the font should be b o d y and then font for any font font color color is green color equals to green and then close it from here and now f o n t font now here i need to put center center uh, h1 h1 uh, my new website h1 slash center now slash now save it on click on file save as and now save that location under C drive exam server exam folder and under HD docs paste this file index and select here from all and the extension should be dot HTML HTML after that click on save now as you can see one successfully one index file is created on there so delete this file dot txt file is delete so as you can see here is my new website so if I will if I will click on start click on start and then click on go to my browser and type here localhost as you can see the this my this side is uh, opening properly on my on my on my local network so if I will type my IP as you can see IP config here is my IP sorry here is my IP is 192.168.1.254 192.168.1.254 so as you can see the site is opening 
but if if someone want to want to access this website from other location that will be not work through this ip okay for that you need to you need a public ip right so if you will type on google my ip you will get one ip but our isp not give us a static ip so that's the reason uh, that's the reason every time uh, whenever uh, we will restart our router or something uh, log out and log in our network then it will be automatically changed the because it is giant dynamic ip so for that for that you need to go to this website is called noip.com so you have to register here first so i will type here my email id so now put here password and here you need to put your host name like technology i will put uh, maybe it will not taking because someone created already okay technology is not taken so i will put here technology one two three after that create my free account click on over there so after that refresh your gmail.com and now as you can see i am getting one confirmation email on there so click on confirm button from here So as you can see it's showing your account is active so now i can uh, log in or log out anytime so uh, now you have to click on this download button so now click on this download now so so now it, as you can see it's downloading on my computer a duc setup so you have to uh, click uh, install this application on your computer install now and then so click on launch so now here you need to put the same email id and password on there and after that click on sign in so as you can see click over there so now click on select now click on here so now as you can see it's updated so if anyone if uh, anyone want to access your website from any other location then they have to put this this one just a minute this this technology dot uh, technology one two three dot uh, dot hopto dot org so this one they need to put trick technology g123 dot opto dot opto dot org okay so you have to give your friend to this uh this this your domain okay so whenever your dynamic ip will be changed you have to click on this refresh button so after that your ip will be showing on there and your ip will be automatically updated on on these so i hope this video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like button and if you have any queries or question then comments below and i will see you guys on the next one take care